Hey y'all, this is Mark with Southern Custom CC again. Hey, quick update on these Firestorm YD100 Zetas um, engines. You know, I, I ordered a bulk of these and this is probably my third one I've tapped into um, since my initial video, uh, my sampling engine. And every single one of them has had the piston on backwards. So if you go ahead and you get one of these, you're going to have to definitely open that up. Um, and check to make sure that the piston is right in the right way. Once again, you can't rely on the arrow. Okay, the arrow typically signifies direction of flow. So back here where the clutch arm is, you have your intake. So your air goes in through the intake and it comes out the exhaust. That's the direction of the airflow. All right, well, first of all, that's backwards. All right, but like I just said, you can't always tell by that arrow if the piston's on backwards. What you have to look for are the two pins that are in the piston, okay? So what you want is you want those to be on the intake side, on this side. And that is because when this piston is moving up and down, where this is centered on the cylinder, these rings bypass that, okay? Now, this is angled off to the side. So, when your rings are moving up and down and you have that little notch that sits in the middle of those pins, well, that notch is gonna hit your exhaust port. And that's what busts your rings. All right, so like I said, this is my about third one since the sample, and every single one has had the piston on backwards. So if you go ahead and you get one of these, I highly, highly suggest you take that off. And you know, once again, this is the third one since the sampling that has had only one gasket. Uh, my first sampling had two gaskets. I went ahead and took one off, and sure enough. Uh, everyone since has only had one. Um, but, you know, besides that, if you look in there, sometimes there's a burr at the very, very top of that cylinder where the piston um, combustion chamber is up there. Um, so if you have a burr up there, you're going to have to get in there with a Dremel and flatten that out and smooth it out. Um, you know, these ports are nice and clean for the most part, but I still get in there and I clean those up a little bit. I know this is supposed to agitate the air, but, you know, I've noticed that I do get a little bit better performance when I smooth those out a bit more. So, it's just a quick update on this engine. Um, if you've purchased one, I hope you've enjoyed it as much as I have. Um, if you haven't purchased one, I do suggest it. Um, it definitely is different from the typical 80cc engines. A uh, lot of low end torque. The top end is not really there at first, but all you have to do is get one of the MZ pipes. Um, you know, these come with the um, higher magneto. I replace it with the Oz magneto. You know, you can put a revalve on this thing. You can also put on the uh, OKO carb, the PWK carb. Uh, whatever you want but what you have here is a very high powered engine and you know it takes very very minimal um, modifications to make this top end savvy so you can also drop the sprocket from the stock 44 tooth to say a 32 tooth or 36 tooth you know, in the low 30s, you'll definitely get a little bit more top end, you know, and you're not going to sacrifice that low end torque because that low end torque is already there. So, you know, I, I, I'm a big fan of this. And once again, the, the really only complication um, and hesitation towards this engine is that it, it, it won't be really considered legal, legal as the, uh, the 80 cc's typically are you know you can bypass the 80 cc's and some of the stricter precincts and you know uh, counties where law enforcement is a little bit um 
more uh, stringent on you know the the um, actual CC of the engine, so you, you might not be able to get away with this one uh, as opposed to the 80 CCs. But overall, if you can, if you want to, I do suggest these. So once again, thanks for watching. Uh, my name is Mark, Southern Custom CC. Be sure to like and subscribe. Thanks for watching, everybody.